happening right now. Sacramento firefighters are cleaning up after a fire involving two homes. Happened around 320 this morning on 55th Street, just off of 21st Avenue and east of Stockton Boulevard. This is some new video into the KCRA 3 newsroom showing what firefighters faced when they got there. You can see just how intense those flames were. Flames shooting up in the sky. KCRA 3's Aaron Heft is live now with a look at the scene right now. And uh, Aaron, it looks like those crews are clearing there behind you. Just a few of the crews are actually clearing because this is technically a two alarm fire. Lots of crews, lots of trucks, several battalion chiefs. Let's get to the actual house. So this blue gray house, this is one of the two structures that was affected by this fire. Like you said, it started around 320 this morning. Actually, a passerby, the person passing by was a newspaper delivery person, saw smoke fire outside of the home, called 911. You're seeing what it looked like when we arrived on scene about 30 minutes to an hour after that fire began. Now, like we said, two structures affected, four people displaced in this fire, two adults, two young children, but luckily no one was injured. They actually exited the house because they smelled smoke prior to their smoke alarms even going off. Now, like I said, considered a two alarm fire, no one injured. It's still under investigation. Take a listen to what Sac City Fire told us. It's probably about a 10 minute firefight and then they switched into a salvage mode. They tried to save all the belongings of the main fire building. So that's covering their couches, getting their valuables all together just to make sure that we kind of limit the damage as much as we can. And we actually see disaster recovery and restoration pulling up as we speak. This is typical in fires, house fires like this. They try to salvage as much of the family's belongings as humanly possible. But the investigation is just at its beginning stage, and there is no yet cause found for the fire. In Colonial Heights, Aaron Heft, KCRA 3 News.